the jig is up, Utsuki. Not when I am.
the pieces. He's gone. What now? The drums are driving out all the rest of the soldiers. Come on, we must see to Captain Kelrig. Jamie. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm not really here. The hypnosis beam has certain capabilities. What do you want? You just fought and defeated General Utgi. After all I've done for you, Helping you break out of the Celestial, teaching you how to fight. How do you repay me? By stabbing us in the back. How can you trust the words of an alien, especially the one who is responsible for abducting you from your home, from your life in the first place? He doesn't lie to me. Not like you have. How do you know that? Captain Kellery could have been lying to you just as easily as we could be. So you admit you were lying? Either one of us could be. You have been presented with two different sides of the story, both of which contradict each other. It's down to you to decide which is real, Jamie, but I guarantee you, if you make the wrong decision, you will die. Then what do you want me to do? You're in a very valuable position for us right now. Norel trusts you, and so will Captain Kelrig once he's revived. I want you to spy on them for me. Then when they are at their most vulnerable, that will be when you strike. I will let you know through the hypnosis beam when that will happen. If you do the right thing, you will be hailed a hero of humanity. But if you don't... I'm afraid you will die. Do I have a choice? Yes, I give you my word.
thanks. As much as I'd like to believe you Varkums are really human, I'm afraid what Captain Kelrick said has to be the truth. We shall see whether or not you regret that decision. Jamie, you coming? Good to see you're okay, guys. Where is he? Bucky's dead. Turns out everything Kelrick told us was true. The Varkum forces were the enemy all along. These drones brought Kelrick down here after I came too. Is he gonna be okay? He will. The matter manipulator is regenerating his damaged internal organs. He'll be fine. Well, good. I guess. the Varkum forces. Their tractor beam is still attaching us to Desiland. Not if we destroy it. The Varkums will undoubtedly strike again. They sent up half their soldiers to attack the Celestial just now. Yes, so the time to strike back is now, while they're scattered before they regroup. We need to break free from the tractor beam. Once we do, the Celestial can travel to the Gula Wormhole. The Gula Wormhole is located on the other side of the star system, and it will take us to another galaxy, to a star system close to the murky system where the Celeron's home planet is. So how are you going to break free from the tractor beam? I think Utki or someone told us that the Celestial can shoot ships that are traveling even a hundred meters above the surface. So just shoot the compound. It can't be that hard to hit. True, but the compound is protected by the oxygen shield which doubles as a force field. It neutralizes any shots that hit it. The only way we can destroy the tractor beam and the Varkums is if we take down that oxygen seal. We're going to need to go down there. None of the other Celerons on board the Celestial are trained in combat. Only me and you two as well, so it's down to us. Okay then. I'm in. No! That's a terrible idea! Well, do you have a better idea? No. Then, I suppose we're storming the compound. We're not going to be up against drones anymore. We're going to be up against highly trained soldiers. And there's only space. three of us. Those odds don't sound good to me. I have one idea. We're all still in our Varkum space armor. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, that's a good idea. I see. You're saying we should, you know, go undercover mode? The drones will create a diversion, attacking the outside of the Varkum compound while we enter it separately. In our Varkum armor, they won't recognize us. Okay. If we run into Heiso or anyone else that we spend a lot of time with, this whole plan will be screwed. So, yeah. We should be careful. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> 